Hey, how you doing? Hey, we're here in Tuxedo, New York, just north of Manhattan at Vera Johnson's Antique Shop. Yeah, Vera has a lot of collectibles from old Broadway shows, uh, Broadway concerts, and a lot of these old, these legendary performers now in our community got their start on Broadway mm -hmm. and in performing in and around New York. So let's go talk to Vera. Yeah, let's right? take a look. Yeah. Uh, uh, so Vera, you have some uh, some things here from uh, back in the day, some really great uh, uh, playbills, and, and this is something interesting from uh, Ringling Brothers, which is uh, you know the circus. Uh, but well, what's interesting about this is that they feature an African American woman right on the cover, right. and, which and was kind of unheard of. <laughs> because why was that uh, uh, so unique? Well, because um, most magazines did not use black models and back in the 40s, 50s, and early 60s, and um, they didn't feel that they sold as well as if they put a blonde on. Mm -hmm. And this is from 1951, so right, yeah. so it has 25 <laughs> cents, and, and so that that was. Uh, being how the country was back in the right. day in terms of African Americans now, and our contributions. This thing was very controversial when they first did it um, and put it on Broadway because it was Lena Horne with Ricardo Montalban. And you have some other uh, Lena Horne playbills right. as well. This is when she was a little bit older, I, I yes, see, when she was on Broadway. Yes, these were later. Um, I think the last one she did was this, this one. Was it this one? Yeah, that was a one-woman show. Okay, yeah. okay. And, and the thing I always remember, oh, these are Lena Horne Awards, but the mm -hmm. thing I always remember about Lena Horne, and Clint, I'm sure maybe you probably felt this way, even as a 10-year-old kid, seeing Miss Lena, she was really one of the most beautiful women oh, yeah. that you've okay. ever seen. Right. And at 10 years old, I'm looking at Lena Horne like, wow, she's hot. <laughs> 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 And you also have this, this is really interesting to me, this Hello Dolly yeah, uh, look at that. <laughs> playbill. Because you have Cab Calloway, mm -hmm. Miss uh, uh, Pearl, Pearl Bailey, Bailey mm -hmm. and other people. And then when we, when we open it, we find we have some of the, you know, if you're a historian and if you're a, co a, a collector, uh, uh, the names like Mabel King, uh, uh, obviously Pearl Bailey and Cab Calloway, you know, those are, are, are names that are, that are historical icons right. in our community. And a, a young Pearl Bailey and a semi young uh, Mr. Cab Calloway. Now, Wasn't there a story about P Pearl Bailey um, in the South? Yeah, she was performing at a, a theater in the South. At the way I read the story, as I remember it, when she was leaving, she was attacked by some of the uh, KKK and beaten. Wow. And um, soon after, that a number of the um, black performers who uh, were making money wouldn't travel and perform in the South hmm. for that reason. They boycotted. Now, now, when we talk about collectibles and things, what is what is a collectible from uh, your expert opinion? Well, these are things that I've collected. Mm -hmm. You can collect stuff like this, but this to me is kind of like, you know, the dancing man or the mm -hmm. um, antimima on the uh, Phil Arena uh, mm -hmm. cereal thing or um, some kid uh, eating um, with a watermelon, watermelon <laughs> and that kind of stuff. That to me is negative. I, I don't think we uh, need to feed our children that. These are positive things, right. I think. They're part of history, and I think that, uh, you know, if you care about it, which I do. <laughs> uh -huh. um, and you and have this classic one right here. Billie Holiday. With I'm Billy Red, Eckstein. Billy yeah. Eckstein and, and Red, Red Fox. Fox, yeah. Red Fox yeah. Who was in love with Lena Horne? Oh, well, who show. was it? Oh, no. He's always talking about Lena Horne. Oh, that's Horn right. On the show, he was in love yeah, with Lena Horne. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and I know that Mr. Eckstein there was a, was a, a favorite among the ladies. At least that's what my <laughs> yeah, mother tells me. Yeah, because he was quite handsome. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and he, was, a, he was a pretty boy. He was yes, a pretty yes, boy. So, <laughs> so those are a, a lot of the things that are, that are values here. Uh, we uh, really appreciate you showing us around and mm -hmm. and, and uh, allowing us to come into your store and see what you have and. And being able to connect with some of the people that uh, you might hope that would be interested in, in some of the stuff that you have. Yeah, thank you very much.